Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, we're outside of turret number one, and we're going to talk about a subject that one of our fans submitted for us to discuss, and that is turret assembly. Uh, before we get into that, just a little bit, if there's something that you would like us to talk about on the channel, let us know in the description down below, and we'll get to it as soon as we can. We get a lot of suggestions. So uh, if we don't get back to your answer the next day, that's not because we don't think it's a good idea. Uh, we tend to shoot these videos a week or two out at least. And uh, so it takes us time to get through our backlog and then create the new content for you. So uh, this is an area where I am by no means an expert. So this is gonna be some real base level stuff. And in the future, I hope to do more research and be able to come back with a longer uh, video for you. But for the uh, Turret Assembly 101 class, here's what we've got. New Jersey was built at the Philadelphia Navy Yard between 1940 and 1943. The largest crane there was able to lift about 500 pounds, uh, but it could lift about 50% more of that without breaking. It's easier to build the turret indoors than it is to assemble it in the ship. Uh, on the ship, it is completely exposed. And by the time this vessel was being built, World War II was already being fought. Uh, partway through construction, the United States was brought into World War II. Um, here in Philadelphia, we do experience winter, unlike in some of the uh, more southern shipyards. So the type of rain that we get in uh, the spring and fall, the snow we get in the winter, really hampers outdoor assembly of uh, major mechanical components like this. So the more of the turret you can build in the turret shop, the big old cavernous warehouse type space that used to be at the Philadelphia Navy Yard, the better. Uh, but then again, you still have to transport it to the ship and then put it inside. So when you're building this vessel, you leave a big hole in the deck. Uh, off the top of my head, I think the Iowa class battleships have a 68 foot diameter barbette for the gun turrets. So that, that is just an armored pit, five stories tall, that's round. And then the turret's gonna sit right on top of that. Uh, the turret itself is several stories tall. And uh, the completed assembly weighs as much as 2,200 tons on an Iowa class battleship. Uh, roughly 1,700 tons of that is gun turret itself. And uh, approximately 135 tons of that is gun barrel and breech assembly. So the barrels are designed to be uh, swapped out. They, they've got a life of about 100 shots if you're using full charges before the brass base ring of the shell is going to wear away the rifling and make the guns inaccurate uh, as designed. By the 1980s, they'd come up with stuff to extend that out. But um, with that in mind, the Navy realized that they would have to change the barrel. So the whole barrel assembly was able to be removed without removing major components of the turret. Uh, we're going to talk about barrel assembly in a later video. Stay tuned for that. But uh, So that brings your turret down to about 1,700 tons. Still more than most pre-war destroyers. Uh, the, the full turret assembly, 2,200 tons, is the weight of a Fletcher class destroyer, our uh, most produced class. Luckily, a lot of that weight is the armor plating. These gun turrets have a 17 inch thick class B armor faceplate, and that is mounted on a two and a half inch special treatment steel backing plate with concrete poured in between to fill in the voids. The back plate of the turret is 12 inches thick, and that has uh, a 0.75 inch STS backing plate or number 30 steel. 
So the sides are nine and a half inches thick on number 30 special treatment steel. And the roof is seven and a quarter inches thick on number 30. Uh, so again, that armor comes off in plates and it is designed to be more or less re removable. Uh, can be unbolted and taken off if you have to do work inside the gun house. Uh, so that did not have to be put on as part of the assembly. So there was a uh, officer in charge of the turret shop who, as they're building these gun turrets at the Philadelphia Navy Yard, he has to account for the weight of every piece of material going into the construction so that he's got a running tally. And as he starts to get up above 500 tons, he has to tell them to stop working there so the crane can drop it into the ship. Uh, with New Jersey, he knew he exceeded 500 tons. It, I, I forget the exact number, but it ended up being like 580 tons of uh, components assembled in the um, turret shop. The officer who did that chose to stand in the base of the barbette as the turret was being lowered in in case the crane failed. That way, he wouldn't have to answer to anyone. There wouldn't be anything of him left. Uh, as it turned out, the crane here at the Philadelphia Navy Yard was able to handle the weight. Like I said, they tend to be able to lift about 50% more than they're rated for. And all of the turrets were able to be lowered into place. The armor was able to be assembled. And then the barrels were able to be slotted in. Like I said, that gives you some ideas of the major assemblies. Uh, check out some of our other videos on the 16-inch guns. And, and uh, you can see some of the different layers of the gun turret. Uh, so, for example, check out this video link here, which uh, takes you to me climbing up through the inside of the gun turret. And then check out this video link here that shows me crawling through a 16 inch gun barrel. Uh, so th those have some other information on turret assembly and we are gonna put out some more content in the future. If you'd like to see this stuff in person, come out and visit the ship. If, uh, I, I know that for regular self-guided guests, you don't get to see every layer of the turret. If you buy a curator's behind-the-scenes tour, we can climb through all the different stories of the turret, and uh, I'll show you everything personally. That costs $500, and you can sign up for one of those by shooting an email to the address right here. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. Maybe it'll rate its own video in the future. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. We try to put out multiple videos per week, and that way you'll get notifications when we put out something new. And also, the Battleship Museum receives support from the New Jersey Department of State. And also from viewers like you. If you would like to support the museum and our YouTube channel, check the link in the description below for a way to get to our GoFundMe campaign. Any of the money you donate into that comes right back into us and what we do here. Thanks for watching.